external pulse oximetry. What is that? Well, basically what happens is your doctor is prescribing you a test. They want to know how you're doing at night when you're sleeping, how far you're, you're desetting, how low your oxygen is getting while you go to sleep. Now, it's actually normal for everyone to desat to oxygen, have your oxygen levels go down at night. That's normal. But, as it gets worse for some people, that's where it puts more taxation on your heart and eventually can cause premature death. Now, essentially how they test for this is with this little device right here. This is a Virtuox pulse oximetry, nocturnal pulse oximetry. So, what happens is, they put this, well actually you would, a person like myself would bring it to you and we'd give you a paper. Now, at least in my state, it requires us not to give you the verbal. We have to give you just the list of instructions and wish you luck. But what we do is, we drop it off. The paper basically states that you, you would wear it on your arm like a wrist watch, just like that. And you take this little boot and you would put this on your finger and you go to bed. You would record what time you go to bed, what time you wake up, then you would sign it and then someone like myself would come and pick it up in the morning and then we'd send the results off to the doctor to find out what's going on. There we go. Now what you can see there is my O2 is running at 98 and my heartbeat's running between 87 and 91, 93. And it's essentially recording, as you just saw, which would happen was you're sleeping all night, four, five, six, seven, eight hours, however long you slept. But what this is doing is it's getting the information and the doctor will actually see a, a graph of what happens when you go to sleep, how much you desat, how many events you have, and that's when you're dropping below certain levels of your oxygen, what happens to your heart and such. And it basically helps them to make a determination if you need a CPAP or BiPAP or everything's all good or maybe you just need oxygen at night or maybe you need a combination. But this helps give them a, a good starting point to find out what's going on. So not necessarily anything to be afraid of. You want to make sure you're in good health and get what you need to help you. I'm Frank. This is OxygenGuy.com and that's been your pulse oximetry, overnight pulse oximetry, or nocturnal oximetry. You have a great day. We'll see you soon. OxygenGuy.com. See ya.